How many of you are constantly overwhelmed? Overwhelmed by the number of emails to reply to, loads of laundry that needs to be washed, messages to reply to, and just the pace of time itself. So on top of all of this, we definitely don't want to be overwhelmed by the products, ingredients, and options out there to use in our everyday skincare routine. We just want what we're using to work. So today, we're going to be talking about minimalism, but not in a sense that you have to get rid of and eliminate everything you have, but more so to look at our current situation with a simplified lens. And it's brought to you by Minimalist. And clap. The brand that we're going to be talking about is called Minimalist and they are quite new to the scene. So you heard it here first because I'm sure you're going to start seeing it everywhere. Yes. And on the outside, it might look like your typical affordable, effective, clinical looking brands that we all know and love over the years. But there are actually really specific ingredients and formulation concoctions that make Minimalist products different and stand out from the others. So usually a skincare product is formulated for one skin concern. However, the minimalists realize that when you have a skin concern like, let's say, acne, mm. it's not just acne that you're facing. You probably also have oily T-zones. You probably also have excessive sebum production. So they formulate this specific product to target all skin concerns at yeah. the same time. So before the pimple comes, when you have the pimple, and even after the pimple comes, yeah. It's to help all of that all in one. Mm -hmm. And then they also found the specific textures and formulations that work best with those skin concerns. And one of the other most common skin concerns we get, as well as you guys get, is hyperpigmentation. So hyperpigmentation comes up from melanocytes, from tyrosinase, and even aging and freckling. So with all the overwhelming options and products out there, I think all we want to know is what's gonna work on my skin and what can we use till the end that's gonna address multiple concerns all at once. So we're gonna share with you guys our favorite handfuls of the products from the Minimalist line so that it can also help as a guide for you guys Guys who are looking for something new to address all your plethora of concerns as well. Yeah, and I think the amazing thing is that this brand is incredibly affordable. Yeah. And it also does the most. Yeah. So, do you want to pick your star child? Mm -hmm. Because I am so excited because I think I found my new holy grail of like affordable products. <laughs> Guys, do we think Fel should go first? Fel should go first. <laughs> oh, if you say so. Okay, no, if but you insist. Actually, I'm so excited. Okay, let's start off with serums. I have acne, I have hyperpigmentation from scarring, I have like darker marks the closer it is to my period because the cell turnover is just like slower or something. Dark marks. <laughs> so this is the tranexamic acid 3%. But it doesn't stop there because going back to minimizing the amount of products you need, it has it all in here. Guys, this is really special. <laughs> yeah, okay. This tranexamic acid has mandelic acid, salicylic acid, HPA, and acetyl glucosamine. Let's first start off with this ingredient called HPA. Hydroxyphenoxypropionic acid. Hydroxyphenoxy. <laughs> and basically how this works is like the dark marks on the top travel from the, the lower parts of our skin and like branch out like this, like a big coral, right? And if you're not using skincare ingredients to help inhibit this and stop it, it will spread. So that ingredient, the HP, actually inhibits it from spreading, but also protecting your skin from UVB rays. And that can show up as melasma or freckling or or even just like darkening overall of like tanning. And then the tranexamic acid is inhibiting the processes within the tyrosinase, which leads to the melanin production. So all this just means it's nipping it at the bud before it can even become a thing. And then on top of that, it's got the salicylic acid and my favorite ingredient, the mandelic acid. And mandelic acid just even by itself helps to really regulate sebum production. So you can see, when we were talking about it's helping with like multiple things at once it's helping balance your skin tone it's helping with cell regeneration it's helping with nipping melanin production from even occurring but then after it occurs help to resurface what has eventually shown through. So it's like at every stage helping your skin. So the little story is I had this huge Huge pimple bug. It was huge. <laughs> Sorry, it was like I eating I love you, rope. but it was big. When it first started, I was like, oh. And it had 
three yellow heads in it. And then I couldn't take it anymore. I like pressed it gently and it spurt all into the mirror. Psh, psh. <laughs> so then that's when I started using this. It came at the right time because this was when we were testing it out. And I kid you not, I use this every day at night for the week and it was flattened. It's flat. Yeah. <laughs> it's flat. The proof is in the pudding. And on top of that, you guys know one of my favorite ingredients is oat. And this has oat extract just to like support that anti-inflammatory, soothing. And what's like really interesting is that it just wasn't drying. You would oh. think with all these ingredients that yeah. it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And it wasn't drying. It was actually really fluid, really hydrating with this like yellow color and it was enough for me to just cleanse, use this, and then moisturize. Mm -hmm. And it just like really helped. I don't even know what was going on. Everything. <laughs> That's the thing. I think because it's working on the under yeah. layers of our skin that over the, I wasn't expecting it to like slough away and do all this stuff, but I was like, whoa, guys, whoa. Put all your investment in this little baby. Very nice. And I think it's also great for people like me who have hyperpigmentation yeah. from the sun. And also, I feel like my pores are overworking, my sebum. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Dude, mandelic would be great for you. Mandelic and salicylic and brightening. This oh, yeah. is like a dream in a bottle. Yeah, because now she's like all into the salicylic. Yeah. Okay, so that's my shining beacon of light. There's a few more, but what's yours for your skin type? <laughs> okay. <laughs> A star ingredient that has been around for a long time yeah. is our dear old alpha arbutin. Ah. This one has 2%. It also has this ingredient. Let me just try, okay? <clears throat> I like how they're challenging us because these ingredients we haven't heard of. So no. it was like looking up new things Never. all over again. Beauty, butyral, butyrescorocosinolol. Okay, I believe it. <laughs> and ferulic acid and hyaluronic acid. So this was the first thing that I grabbed. Mm. Because I've been such a vitamin C fanatic and it's all I've been using. Yeah. Even if I had brush encounters with al alpha arbutin, I was just like, eh. But the more I looked into this and the more that I tried it, I was like, girl, what have you been doing? <laughs> <laughs> so to start, alpha arbutin is known to be more stable and less finicky than vitamin C. Yeah. It also absorbs into your skin better. And this is also a derivative of hydroquinone. Oh. That's like the gold standard of anything that has to do with hyperpigmentation and yeah. that's actually what the tritosemic acid is always Hence. pitted against mm. um, to be like it works just as effectively but it's not you know it doesn't have all like the down side effects the irritation yeah. of potentially acidic vitamin C yeah so in here the alpha arbutin and the butyl not gonna say the rest of the name we'll call it booty the booty <laughs> <laughs> the alpha arbutin and the booty work together to also help inhibit terosinase production, which also helps with, you know, preventing dark spots from happening. So you guys might be thinking, how is this serum different from what Fel just <laughs> yeah. mentioned? What's the difference? What's the difference? So I think in general, Fel's is definitely more like general evening out of the skin tone. Yep. Let's say if you have, you know, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or, you know, sunspots, anything, this will just generally even out your skin tone while also helping to decongest your congested pores. So it is really effective for like combination oily. Mm -hmm. As opposed to this one, and especially for alpha arbutin, it is known to help with brightening. To really like, if you have stubborn sunspots, if you have overall, you just are not happy with the state of your face, like mm -hmm. this will help with that. Yeah, but it's not necessarily gonna be able to like decongest. decongest your pores. And then on top of everything that we just mentioned, they also have ferulic acid, which mm -hmm. helps neutralize free radicals on your skin. Yeah, it's and like the best antioxidant. Yes, and as we've talked about in previous videos, if you do have hyperpigmentation, there's many, many causes beyond just what we may think. Yeah. Like, oh, you know, I got a pimple or oh, the sun. It could also be from dehydration. And I think the selling point for this one is like, if you can't use vitamin C mm -hmm. or you have sensitive skin, alpha arbutin is like your best. It's not, I don't want to even say it's like an alternative. It's like, it stands alone. Yeah. Overall, bing, bing, like literally yeah. bing, bing. And then this is rooting out the gunk and clarifying and evening out. Yes. So those are like two forms of hyperpigmentation from two different 
girlies. Yeah. Then I just want to mention, because I know you guys love niacinamide. I think by now we all know that niacinamide is a superstar ingredient that can do a bit of everything. But what I think makes this one a little bit different is some people have actually commented and said to us that niacinamide gives them irritation. Or it breaks them out. Yeah, with other formulations, right? But that's normally at a 10% level. So they created this with that in mind. It's 5%, it's lowered, and it also includes an ingredient called bifida ferment lysate. And this is an active that increases cell repair and also protects your skin from UV damage. So you can see it as this like preventative protection. You don't have that much like hyperpigmentation to begin with. It's like maintenance. Maintenance. Mm -hmm. And you have sensitive skin, 5%. And there's a bunch of other serums like salicylic. They're they newer. also have a vitamin C one that's like 15%. Oh yeah. And they also have vitamin E, fruitic acid. If you're looking for a dupe, for a very expensive vitamin C serum, that might be the one, guys. Yeah. Because if you think about it, they're all the same ingredients. I still don't know to this day why it's so expensive. So those were the highlights from the serum category. Now we want to go into moisturizer because it is a building block of every person's skincare routine. So the three standouts are these ones. The Ceramides Moisturizer, the Vitamin B5 Moisturizer, which is Panthenol, and then we have Sepicam, which is something that we haven't explored or talked about in terms of an ingredient. Never heard of it before this. Right? <laughs> so which one should we start with? Ceramides! Okay, love it. Not only do they have ceramides and five different types of ceramides, mm to help with your skin barrier. The way that it's formulated is also formulated with the golden ratio of three to one to one, where yeah. it's ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids. So with these formulated together, it's just like, it is your skin savior. It is because our skin naturally does have fatty acids, yeah. cholesterol, and it's like replenishing yeah. it. Oh my God. You know how ceramides and peptides are like, the shining yeah. beacon of light in skincare. Peptides for 2023. Yeah. And most skincare with ceramides is formulated with less than 0.1%. This is over 3%. You know how we've talked about more is not always better when it comes to active ingredients, but when it comes to ceramides and skin soothing ingredients, more yeah, can, can be help. better. Yeah. And they also have metacastoside in here, which we know is Centella Asiatica. So along with building up your skin barrier, it's also super soothing. And there's also this ursolic acid. Tell us about ursolic acid, Val. We haven't even talked about Never on heard this of channel. her. This acid, I don't know why no one's talked about it, but it's essentially an anti aging, nourishing ingredient. It helps your skin retain that elasticity by inhibiting the destruction of your collagen from depleting. So it's got skin firming, anti aging effects with the natural processes of our skin. So when we talk about this really tackles your skin at all the stages, yeah. this is what we mean. Oh my God. And guys, their moisturizers, I think if you have super dry skin, especially in the winter, like you, I don't think this is enough. However, if I was in my 20s, early 20s and I use this, or even in my teens, Chef's kiss. Or if you have oily combination in the winter, like it has this water bursting effect that just like dissolves. Or if you want, you can actually use this as a thin moisturizer if you don't like thick moisturizers and then maybe add like a couple drops of oil or something. Mm. For my, or man, my, my hands were so dry just then. This like must feel like, like you on a normal day. It just like dissipated. Actually, that's the great thing about all their moisturizers. I think they knew the foundation of a routine and where you want to invest. You want your actives to be in the serum and you want like maybe light chemical exfoliation in your cleanser and then the moisturizer is just to top it all off. The next moisturizer we have is the vitamin B5. Mm. This one of course has vitamin B5, which is panthenol, 10% of that. And, and there's another three best friends in here, copper, zinc, and magnesium. Mm -hmm. So the three of these together, just imagine three friends walking around, <laughs> scavenging for free radicals. Achha! Achha! Yeah, literally. And what they do together is that they inhibit, once again, they're inhibiting cellular free radical formation. And mm. what happens when free radicals form is that it leads to premature aging. Because so, your cells are getting attacked. Yeah. So this is keeping your cells youthful, along with the panthenol, which we know is amazing as a humectant, which prevents twool or transepidermal water loss. I think this one's really interesting because you'll see moisturizers with either some ingredient and zinc 
or some ingredient and magnesium mm -hmm. like the banana moisturizer yeah. if you guys know what I'm talking about but this one includes all three so they're like latching on and protecting you for dear life they're like dee, 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 yeah dee, we got dee, you sha, sha. The last standout moisturizer for us is the Seppi Calm 3% moisturizer with oat extract, squalane, and amino acids. Come on! Okay, so it's all nourishing, it's soothing, but what is Seppi Calm? <laughs> So Seppi Calm is actually a combination of amino acids and what it does is it protects your skin from UVA and UVB rays. So you might not think that a moisturizer is necessarily doing the job of a sunscreen, but it helps with the inflammation and that like irritation that comes with damage by the sun. So think of like an aloe but on steroids. Wow. Yeah, I was using this when I had a rash. <laughs> I always have a rash. Yeah. This is the most whipped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it like, has uh... like a slight cottage cheesy, <laughs> yeah. but like manageable. <laughs> yeah. And it's very easily spreadable. So you won't have that like thick shea butter kind of feeling. So it's very good for if you're into lightweight moisturizers. Okay, so those are the moisturizers. Mm. Let's go into cleanser because that's also a foundation. I know we yes. like went, went out of order, but, but in levels of experience. So cleansers. The three that we want to mention is the oat extract cleanser, the salicylic acid and LHJ, and also the alpha lipoic and glycolic. Let's start with the alpha lipoic and glycolic because this one is the most fascinating. Alpha lipoic is not only water soluble, it's also oil soluble. So it's serving the function of an AHA and a BHA. It's like going Both. through all the cells. Yeah. Talk about minimalism, right? Yeah. So both of these two ingredients make up 7%. So it will really help with the exfoliation of dead skin cells. And I also love exfoliating during the cleansing step mm. because it will be in the long run gentler than if you have it in like a serum or a toner form. Yeah. It's just like a clear runny gel consistency mm -hmm. that I think anyone plays well with. And if you want just a little bit of extra buffing, you can use it on like your face tool as well. Mm. Like I use it on the Ferrer, yep. it's excellent. So I want to mention these two. One is the salicylic acid and LHJ. So this one contains oat extract. Again, love that they have so much oat in all of them, um, as well as zinc and allantoin. So salicylic acid and zinc are really good for like fighting inflammation from breakouts. And it reminds me of the La Roche-Posay medicated 2% salicylic acid cleanser that I loved for so long. It's helping get into the pores, clarify, degunk while you're cleansing. And this one I want to talk about is the oat. So this contains bisabolol as well as the oat, vitamin B5, hyaluronic acid. This type of cleanser, I love dry cleansing. You just put it on. You don't even like add water yet because it's nice and goopy. And then you spread it all over your face, get it into there, and then you emulsify it. Kind of like you're using a cleansing balm because everything in here is like a soothing topical. Yeah. Yeah. So the bisabolol is the active of the chamomile flower and you'll see this in like many other Korean soothing calming products. So it's skin regenerating, skin barrier friendly, and anytime you have irritation, you want to just peel back everything. This is something that you'd want to look for. Whenever you say it's got the oat, I just think of it's got the oat from it's corn and you also look like corn. You haven't heard of it, huh? <laughs> no. The little kid. I have to show you later. I feel like you reference that. I just say it all the time. <laughs> yeah, every but time I, I never say it, you're just it. like, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so this was just an introductory, almost like guide for you guys to explore some of our favorites because we have very different skin concerns and tackle it in the most simplified way at any given point. I think this is why when Phil and I first came across this brand, we both got super excited because it's. It's putting into practice everything that we've kind of been getting frustrated about with the industry where brands are constantly pumping out products and it just beca it's like it's kind of like fast fashion but instead of fast fashion it's like fast, fast skincare, skincare yeah. so everything about slowing down skincare and really having one product that can do more than just like one thing yeah is actually such a beautiful thing innovation <laughs> yeah, yeah encourage you guys to explore, especially because they're also affordable. And just know that if you do make a mistake, 
It's actually all like learning opportunities to get to know yourself more, get to know your skin more, how it can handle certain things, how it doesn't, so you guys can make the most informed decision for yourself. And let us know what you're looking forward to most in seeing and doing in 2023, because it's a new year, guys! <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well and we'll see you very soon.